If you're joining us now, your favorite salon is now your favorite radio show. We make you healthier, wealthier, and sexier every time you listen. Tune in to us. I'm Anthony Vincent. And I'm Elise. We are Trend Radio. And we are here today with my favorite male model, Thomas Cole. Uh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's my favorite part about, you know, being a model is it's actually a lot. It's actually harder to be a model than people think. Oh, my gosh. It absolutely is. A lot of people are just like, oh, it's pretty face, fit body. You're a model. Uh huh. But no, we have to basically become a character. The designers throw this design at you, say you're going to wear this. Even if we hate it, we have to own it. We mm -hmm. have to walk you have that to runway make and that look good. Exactly. Yeah. And it's hard to do that sometimes. That's happened to Mara a few times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's had to wear something that she knew was not a good cut for her, did not look great on her, was absolutely awful looking, and she had to make it look fabulous. That's right. And that's hard. You're right. You're absolutely right, but you're you're acting. You're right. That's where the challenge comes in. Mhm. Mm exactly. Oh, I love acting. I've ac I'm actually working on a reality series. Are you? Yes, it's called Do tell. It's called Man vs. Monsters. And Jocelyn Marquis is the producer and creative director behind the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We basically are about to shoot the pilot. You can go to my Facebook and find out all the information. Thomas Cole. <laughs> Shameless <laughs> plug. But um basically there's the pilot is gonna consist of four contestants. And we're basically facing our fears Ooh. and completing oh, a challenge. So what's your fear? Like your fear? I'm terrified of the dark and clowns. Clowns. So many people are afraid of clowns. Yeah. Well, I, don't, do you know, I don't know why. But you know it's, what's really, it's the mask. Sometimes it's like the whole face and they have that eerie, eerie, you know, awful, ugh. I understand that. I mean, I've conquered my fear of clowns because I deal with so many all the time <laughs> but i need to come I, here more often i think she's talking about me do you think so i think so too i caught on to that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you think so sometimes it's best if you don't think anthony i'm just kidding don't don't give me that look i guess we have to edit that <laughs> but yeah i can understand where you could have a fear of that especially the dark also the dark with a clown would be awful i know i think it, it's the idea of being chased around or chased by so you're going to be chased in the, with in, the, a, in a fun house with a, a haunted fun house. model that squirts mustard at you oh i would gosh. not be okay with that i wasn't even thinking about that yeah, that yeah. could definitely happen yes so you're going to be in a in a fun house in a dark fun house with with a clown i'm going to be in a fun house of terror with a bunch of well, a i don't bunch? think i can tell you no, okay don't tell me but but more than one that is not cool. There is a killer clown that is going to be pursuing the contestants in the, in this haunted fun house. And we have to complete a challenge successfully to win the prize money. Oh, how much is the prize money? That's to be determined. Ah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to watch. Good a show you put on. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming, getting ready. <laughs> My creative process is always going like... I'm inspired by so many things every day. New York City is is my mecca. You know, I can understand that. New York City has such an amazing aura of, of everything. I mean, you can do anything there. You can just, go, when you get there, and just the smell alone starts to make you, starts to inspire you. Well, I did pass this man this morning. Oh, and Not a good smell? No, it was awful. I had to like fan my newspaper in front of my face and oh my. run past him. It was yeah. the most ratchet smell. It doesn't smell. always smell good, but, but you always. know what I mean. It's just yes. a feeling also. A feeling you get when you get to the city. It's just... And I've lived in New York City for 15 months to the day. And That's awesome. It still hasn't lost its magic. And it never will. There, I mean, that's the thing about it's. It is magical. And everybody says it and everybody knows it. And you can't lose it no matter what happens there it's right. always magical and it's strong and that's what's so beautiful about it and i'm surrounded by so many artists and inspiring people oh my god of course i just finished doing a shoot where 
So first I want to preface that sometimes what I do doesn't always make sense. And we understand that. We do. We do a lot of things that don't always make sense. Yeah. I mean, look at what I'm wearing. Does that really make sense? Absolutely. On on you, it absolutely does. (laughs) It makes perfect sense. (laughs) Well, good. I'm glad that you get it. But sometimes what I do doesn't make sense, but I saw it this way in my head and I believed in it. Executing the vision, I think, is the most difficult thing for a lot of artists to do. I used to struggle with it. I see something in my head and I... I'm the walking canvas, so I I make it happen. So you, and you go with it. And that's what's so important. Go with what you have in your gut. Go with I your stay vision. True. Stay to true vision. to yourself. To, yes. to yourself, to who you are. We do that too. It's my creative process. There are people that don't always understand us. You should see what happens when we're writing something. We are writing and the two of us just we just have this this innate chemistry, this a unbelievable synergy. synergy. Yeah, we do. And we can write something and it's amazing. But the moment somebody tries to help us, Ugh. they block us. They absolutely block us. It happens all the time, remember? And people mean uh, pe- well. They mean well. They and mean we well. try to go off where nobody will bother us. Because we have to, because they they just, they block us, no matter who it is. They mean well, but it's just, it's awful. And, and, and often I'll go into like almost trance-like and just shoot stuff out of my mouth and and at least it's just writing it all down and making it work in in our it's amazing what we do yeah, together she gets all of my thoughts puts them all together and makes sense of uh, and then my gibberish and i <laughs> add my own stuff to it and then he looks at me and we're like oh my god it's like kismet and then the two of us are like everything we do we do great that's because the truth. it's the truth